what we're looking at here is our dashboard. So main dashboard, this is version two of Advise On, launched four years ago plus now, uh, really focused on the aesthetic. So a very polished look and feel, as well as customization down to the user level. So these various dashboards that we'll see throughout, this is all gonna be drag and drop for each user to create their own distinct Advise On experience. We've spent, I'd say probably the last two years, a heavy focal point has been on supporting our enterprise clients. And so while I may be the only advisor in my practice in the demo environment, AdviseOn is built out of the box to support teams, branches, and anything in between. So if we look at our permission settings, first what's created is called a role, and then within the role, each user is assigned. Some of these are very straightforward. A big focus of ours has been ease of use, making sure that the system is very intuitive. Some of these are going to be expandable. So in this example of rebalancer here, we have the ability for standard users to create rebalances or trades, but then they send off to the trading team for execution. From here, we'll look at our ADV compliance dashboard. So all of this information within the system is pulled in and categorized. So whether it's AUM by custodian, ADV asset category, AUM by state, this is all very, very accessible, all exportable to Excel. There are some additional Excel-based views that are available for audit support, for example. So whether it's audit or regulatory filings, we're putting the data at your fingertips for easy access here. We'll move here into our calendar. <clears throat> our calendar is built on deep integration with both Office 365 and Google Workspace. So what that means is you're going to connect calendar and email very similarly to how you set up access for both of those items on your phone. So Office 365, for example, going to function as the back end. And then whatever front end you're choosing to interact with, that's going to be consistent. So same calendar that's in Outlook and on your phone is what we see in Advise On. Calendar sharing is facilitated here. We move next into workflows, kind of piggybacks on top of calendar. This starts with a template. Templates can then be initiated and assigned to the client in question. Client onboarding is a great example of how to leverage a simple workflow. We have the ability to create these different stages here, but also have what we call decision diamonds. So if different criteria are met, so for example, paperwork is rejected, you could have someone assigned to address paperwork issues. Piggybacking on top of workflows, we have automations. So our automation center, we just keep with the idea of client converted from prospect and onboarding. Once the advisor gets a go ahead from the prospect they've been working with to move things forward, all they need to do is change the status, which can initiate the onboarding workflow. Maybe staff take the baton at that point in time. <laughs>